Hi there. In follow-up to the could the Beatles make it today thing, there's some great comments and I'd like to, you know, continue the conversation on this. One of the great things that was said was that the Beatles were great innovators for their time, that because they were so cutting edge, they would be able to make use of the tools of today to remain cutting edge. I would like to argue that no, that isn't really the case. The tools of today are about sculpting perfection, you know, melodyne and, and pitch correction and, you know, the even playing to a click which puts everything on a grid evenly for your drums. A drummer in the past used to respond, you know, without a click track. They used to be the click, the living click, you know. They'd slow down to to accommodate the emotional um, effect of the song or maybe speed up or something in response to the song. You had the human involved. These days it's a slider. It's merely the case of, you know, pulling a slider back to get the human back involved again. It's really, really hard to be able to see a way to innovate within this kind of, this homogenised plastic perfectly packed sphere you know and i think you can see some sort of evidence of something going on like this when you look at decades in the past you know how the 20s were different to the 30s 30s different to the 40s musically right 40s different to the 50s 60s again completely different 70s completely different 80s very very different 90s really different again you know and then from the 2000s all of that started to slow down and sort of converge more into this perfect 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 music but you know is it too perfect okay another thing is that you know you look at the charts and it's it's very much more like one kind of sounding thing the argument has been said uh subjectively you all oh, the music all sounds the same da, 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 or whatever right you know and and there is an objective study that's been made on this as well uh to find that music is sounding more and more the same actually um, you know, from sound analysis. Uh, the other thing you can obviously see is that there are, you know, there's only a certain types of acts that are allowed to be at the top, for instance, the pop or pop fusion, pop-esque kind of acts or the things that use all that production that basically make it feel pop, yeah? Um, and if when you look at, like, that level of superstardom, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, this sort of thing, right? It's pop, you know? Um, the other thing really is the decline of the band. Yeah. So again, in those examples above, those are solo artists, the band itself, you know, as a, as a product, maybe there just isn't the, the hunger for that. You know, the people that make the decisions at the tops, the gatekeepers, they don't seem to be allowing those things through to, to make it. And there is really a, a cyclical thing about this. What they allow will become popular. I want to argue, and it's not being allowed. 